Hey, what is up everyone? It is Rich. All right, welcome to a new episode of 10 Minutes with. Today, we are going to look at Sunken Rock. This was recommended yesterday and uh, I've seen this work before. The art is awesome. I've not read the book, but it's by um, Mujik Park or as he draws, um, it's Boichi. Um, he's really, really good and this book is awesome. Um, I mean, we'll just get right into it. There's not much to say other than the art is really, really kick-ass and very, very detailed. So um, let me just do this really quick. That'll make it a little better. The stuff is quite detailed, um, like like um, very fine detail in the figures, which um, you know is is not as common as. Let me just shut this too. Um, you know, if you look at a lot of different like manga art, um, a lot of times they don't render on the figures as much as this stuff has. He's a Korean artist, so um, you know the aesthetics are different. Like I have some Chinese, um, kind of like graphic novels. I don't know what how you would really describe them. Like their art is incredibly detailed. Some of the Indian comic books are like that too, um, where it's just nuts with the detail. But man, this stuff is great. So thank you for the recommendation. I was going to pull up your name and uh, I started the video before I was able to do it, but uh, you'll know who you are because you're going to be like, oh crap, he fast tracked it. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, I was really, really like impressed by this stuff. This this looks very, very time consuming. There's a level of finesse to it that makes it interesting, and this is nice. I mean, this um over here, this uh, technique with sort of like the uh, more rough brush stroke and a little bit of that um kind of washy watercolor look is very cool. Just really sexy girls. He picks some pretty um um interesting shots. You know, sort of like these extreme um, worm's eye views, like looking up. Um, you'll see. <laughs> This guy's hair is awesome. <laughs> oh, I finished Crystal Planet yesterday. I finished it yesterday afternoon. I got done around 3.30, so it's done. Um, I'm uh, I'm kind of retooling uh, my um, setup here to focus on Blaster Kid because I'm not, I'm not going to be um, drawing it the same exact way as I did Crystal Planet, so I have to rearrange my office a tiny bit. Um, and then I'm going to get onto one of the commissions that I had mentioned yesterday that I have to get done. But that should be quick. I should have all the commissions done by Tuesday, Wednesday at the latest. And then uh, I'm completely, um, what would you call it, obligation free. This is awesome. His faces are great, man. There's a lot you could learn from the way that this guy draws heads. And his hands are great, too. This is really, really good stuff. love the um screen tone um pattern on her dress it's nicely done too i mean one one thing that you have to be very mindful of when you put things like screen tones on figures is that there's a um i'll draw it really quick so uh, i can show you what i mean um like the form quick drawing thing but but oh is it grayscale file bummer it's a grayscale file shoot um but this is it's got form on it you know what i mean like these are these are like nice ellipses with this kind of shape on it and what happens is like screen tones a lot of times they're they're set up flat so i mean it's like you're looking at it like this but the thing is is you need to have that shape bending over the object or even i mean it can be like like that too where it's bending both ways and so you can see that whoever what i assume his assistants probably lay the screen tones down they are bending it with the form it's really really important to do because if not um it'll look really flat and uh, i i had that happen on steampunk they started using digital textures on it and they wouldn't bend them to the form and what it what it would do i've, I've talked about it in just about every steampunk video that i do i called it, it left my ass hanging because it made it look like the inks were wrong um, because the colors just sort of seem to overwhelm the, the inks anyway when you put color on. This is clearly black and white. But um, yeah, they weren't bending the, um, the textures to the form. So if it was a cylinder, um, you put a flat like brick texture on it, it just looks weird. <laughs> so anyway. 
Ah, this this is so nice right here. Look at that. Really, really difficult um, shot to do. Also, it's really, really well done. Um, I'm under the impression that uh, Boychi might have a um, YouTube channel. I think the person that suggested this uh, mentioned that. This is a great shot, too. Um, uh, so I'm going to look into that because I definitely would love to... I mean, it's just so interesting to see these artists work or even little documentaries on their life. Any little kind of um, glimpse into that world I always think is really, really interesting. So... This is nice, man. I've got a, a Patreon or patron that takes lessons from me, and this would be great for him because uh, he draws really, really pretty girls, and he's going. He's kind of going for something a little bit like this. He's real good. His faces are, man, off the charts. Once he gets the few other things that he's developing down, he's going to be crushing it. Um, but yeah, this is great. Kill. Man, this is good. Thank you for recommending this. And please, just keep recommending stuff. Um, I mean, I, I try to revisit the old videos. It's difficult as we move quickly um, into these types of videos for me to... Um, let me grab... I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, hide the palettes again. Um, it's difficult for me to go back to old, old messages. So if, if you... Or old posts. So if, if, you, if you see an old video and you want to recommend something, just go to the most recent one because there's a more high likelihood that I'll see the post. But I, I really do... I, I want to appreciate it. And two, I'm always interested to see new stuff. I mean, um, there was a book that was... Um, someone was asking me about um, an Indiegogo campaign yesterday. And if I had seen... I guess a, a campaign got pulled down um, for violence. And... Um, I don't know much. Of, I don't know the backstory of the creators or anything like that. I, 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 I but uh, the art was really, really good. They kind of describe it as like Tim Bruce Tim on steroids. I thought it was good art. It looked good to me, but I didn't really see the violence. Um, but um, you know, I mean, look, look. I mean, not all comic books are for little kids. I mean, you can have like a, a rated R comic. It doesn't have to be, um, uh, you know. Everything needs to be rated G. There's always that room if you go to like a comic book store where they have the adult comics. <laughs> Those are 17 and up because that goes that goes beyond normal rated R. These backgrounds are intense. Looks like maybe Google SketchUp or something along the lines of that. It could be um. Uh, I don't know. There's a bunch of different programs that you can use to get stuff like that. It does the job. I mean, I'm doing a fantasy book. I'm going to draw my backgrounds and create them myself, like so that there's a certain, um, even if it's fantasy, like there's a historical sort of um, symbolism to it. You know, like like something that reflects the culture. I mean, obviously, a city isn't going to have that. Man, this stuff is good really really great faces and the eyes and the lips on this are great and this is awesome look at this this is so good so this is probably some of the more detailed work that we've looked at this week um and it's a good one it's really really good man i love the way he draws her dress this is really really nicely done I'm definitely going to check out more of this stuff. Um, I and I, I mean I can come back and do a longer video. To be clear too, just so that you understand, I'm not I'm not abandoning longer videos. But but like today, I might not have done a video if I wasn't doing a 10 minute video. So you're really getting more content. Um, just just so that people understand, it's not I'm not replacing long videos with um, these shorter ones. But uh, these are convenient. I mean they're they're really nice. It's a great way to just spend a little bit of time looking at something new. And there's so much stuff that, you know, most of us haven't seen. You know, you can't follow every single book or creator. So, this is nice. This reminds me of something. I can't think of what it is. It, it reminds me a little bit of, like, um, I have these three Japanese books that I bought, God, I don't even know, like, 20 years ago that are, like, girls with guns. They're, like, photos of, like, girls in, like, white rooms with guns. Kind of reminds me of one of those poses. I never used them. It was funny. I was going to sell them, but I was like, I'm like, ah, uh, you know, 
they might come in handy at some point but there's there's a point i'm going to be selling a lot of my book collection so i'm going to give patreon and youtube will have first crack at the stuff that i'm getting rid of but uh, i'm going to get rid of a lot probably about 40 to 50 percent of my collection um i just i a lot of it i don't look at or don't use or just don't have the room for and I'd, I'd rather just send it on its way. I've had it long enough. Like It's sort of like the... <laughs> if you haven't looked at it in 10 years, are you really going to look at it? Probably not. So it's time to just let it go. Let it go. All right. So we got like four more pages left. Look at that. Dude. That is so good. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Dude, come on. That is so badass. He gives you a few of these every issue, too. I noticed, like, because I looked at, like, three issues but just to kind of pick what I thought was sort of the most exciting one. Um, this is, shoot, uh, I can't remember what chapter this is. It's quite quite a ways into it, maybe 161. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he gives you a few of these money shots each issue that just, man, you turn the page and you see that, you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Come on. Her face is a little tiny for her body. I get the foreshortening thing. And this feels a little bit like a model, too, to be honest. This pose, I, I'm getting the sense that this is like some kind of an armature that he drew over. Because this, it, it's I can kind of feel it in the figure. And that's also one of the reasons that the head is too small. This arm. If you've seen what the like, if you've seen how the models pose and how they kind of work and the preset poses, I mean, even though you can easily make your own pose, you start to under you start to recognize the body language of a mannequin in the art. He's not using it all the time, though. To be clear, I can I can tell when he's not. All right, that's it, Boichi. Freaking good, sunk can rock. It's really, really good. I mean, I could spend all day looking at this, but I've got I gotta get to work. So look, even when you finish a job, what happens? You go right back to work. I usually will straighten up my office, which I'm I'm I am doing, but I'm doing it honestly because um I haven't had an opportunity to really set everything up so that I have the most efficient workspace for Blaster Kid. But it's like you don't spend days on this. This is like you give yourself an hour. You get the books out of your office that you don't need, you bring in the stuff that you want to surround yourself with that inspires you. Then you get down to business and you start drawing. For me, taking days off is death. Because it's so much harder to get back to anything when you lose momentum. So that's, uh, you know what, maybe I'll end every one of these videos with a little tip. Never lose your momentum. You you dip out and don't draw for a few days or a few weeks. It's, it's a thousand times harder to come back to it. Even when you have experience. Like for me, I've done... Uh, in the last 14 months, I did 250 pages worth of work. It was 125 pages of pencils, but another 125 pages of inks on my pencils. It's a lot of work, okay? And on top of it, um, it was probably about 1,000 panels worth of art, somewhere between 800 and 1,000 panels worth of stuff. And I, on, on a page, I would say the average amount of characters was maybe... 12 to 23 somewhere in there so you you know you do the math on that so now you've done a thought we'll say a thousand panels that could be 12,000 characters am i doing the math right it can't be that many maybe 1200 yeah it would be 1200 um or or 2300 it's a lot of practice even with all of that if i take days off it's way harder it, it, and look sometimes you need to take a break there there is a healthy break where you take a break and you come back rejuvenated you've 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 let any kind of frustrations that you have sort of subside you've let things that you've learned the good the good part of taking a break you've you've let the things that you've learned soak in and then you realize the things that you don't really have memorized i had a student ask me recently about uh, they were having a frustration with learning anatomy um, and figure drawing and they said that they couldn't remember it and i i said to him i said that's a very normal thing it's like perspective you're not going to read a perspective book and walk away with all that information you're not going to learn anatomy over a weekend although people will attempt it i know frazetta uh, claims to have you know spent an evening with bridgman and had anatomy mastered but but you really look at a lot of the studies and stuff that he did. It was not an overnight thing for him in the least. You you can you can memorize the basic muscles in, in a couple of days, maybe. 
but you forget them. You, and look, the thing is, is look, look at most comic books. How much are you really draw in anatomy, or how much are you drawing actual people in clothes or costumes? Uh, I would say that it leans more towards that you're not drawing anatomy. So even that, you know, if you spend two months drawing people in some sort of suit or costume that doesn't really show anatomy. If you don't have your anatomy memorized, when you come back to it, you're going to go, oh, man, I know that muscle is there, but like, you know, and you just keep fine tuning it. You keep adding to it until it becomes part of your natural language. Sorry, I'm out of here. I got to get to work. You guys have a great day. I love this comic. This, this stuff was excellent. So, all right, you guys have a great day. Bye.